and we are back, and it's time for us to go into this evil-looking hole. We use the Oblivion for a whole episode, though, so I'm gonna switch that out to, uh, I want something with higher attack. Divine Rose... I think Divine Rose is the highest attack we have right now. So I'm gonna use that for this next bit. Okay. Into the hole we go. The guy from the final yeah. thing from Fantasia. Right. Yeah. Night on Bald Mountain, which is just, it's just playing Night on Bald Mountain. No Shimomura composition for this, just Night on Bald Mountain. Yeah, it's Because it's just that cool. Exactly. Dude. It's appropriate, dude. though. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Satan himself. <laughs> no, so like, like Walt Disney said, like, you know, he, Chernabog, or however you say his name, is supposed to be a representation of the, oh, yeah, this I Satan. Know. That whole scene was something else. Like it was, it that was really cool. Great. It that was awesome, but it was super creepy like, for a little kid to watch. Uh, don't watch it as a little kid then. I don't know, I'm just Sounds saying. like a personal problem. <laughs> okay, he is a relatively easy fight though, so we're just gonna go out here a little bit just to get a better look at him, just because like we get like let's appreciate how cool the fact is that we're fighting this guy. Yeah, exactly. And Ball Knight on Bald Mountain is playing. Yeah, he's almost dead, though, so... Yeah, yeah, and he's, he's a fairly easy fight. So, unfortunately, we're just gonna have to back up here and enjoy oh. a little bit. The visual. <laughs> exactly. It's a, it's a, we must enjoy the visuals and the music a little bit. Fact, he's killed kind of Donald and almost Goofy, though, so... Of course, that's not saying much. No. I don't care too much. I think we can take him on our own if we have to. Yeah, I think so. Arrow's protecting us from these. Just want to, like, need to show, look look at all this stuff this guy can do. And most people just fly up to him and, you know, bat him in the head a few times. <laughs> we gotta show it. We gotta show it. Alright, now we're gonna get in there enough, and finish this yeah. Wind. Oh, no, they're back up. It's alright. He's gone. It's all over now. I wish it was a tougher fight, because he deserves more, but, oh well. Um, well, I've held a whole um, mountain this um, air, like, just in this isolated uh, plane of darkness. Well, he has no, he has, like, I don't think we've ever seen his feet, ever. Like, there's no depiction of it, like, we have, like, his feet have to be inside that. <laughs> like, all, all we've ever, the lowest we've ever seen is his upper legs. True. Super Glide. Super Glide? Yes, Super Glide. That is Glide, but significantly faster. Because the normal Glide is really slow. Um, yeah, hold down. Press square to fly at high speed. Hold down the square button to remain aloft. Yeah, well, glide is on O, and Super Glide is on, um, uh, is on uh, square. Kingdom Hearts 2 makes the wise decision and just decides when you upgrade your Glide, it just stays on the same button. Yeah, I was gonna uh, say. Like, that's, uh... That seems a little overly complicated. But anyway, so I forget where there's a couple different doors in here, and I forget where all of them go. So I'm gonna risk this one. I think this might just send us back up to where we just were, but no. Okay. There's a lot of doors in this like mountain area, and I forget where all of them go. So we're just gonna risk taking this one. Okay. Here we go. We'll find our way eventually. Eventually. Oops, falling down. We got some magic kind of footprints here. This is the same effect we had earlier in the gummy block chasm, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, a bit. This world's uh, strange and magical and uh, and ruined and gross and stuff. And cool. And cool. Yeah, absolutely. But if you want to be cool, be evil. <laughs> absolutely. Just look at Riku. Look at him. Sasuke. Everybody else. <laughs> so this is Super Glide. Oh wow, that's much faster. Yeah, yeah, way faster. In fact, this this is almost required. Like we didn't get like part of the reason why I knew we weren't going to beat Sephiroth was even if I was good enough, you practically need this move to be able to counter something that he does to you during that fight. So like there was no way I was going to beat him. But anyway. Moving on, now we have that. So this room is a bit interesting. We gotta pay we gotta pay some close attention here. So we got a bunch of thorns on the wall here. A bunch of thorns. Looks like a ruined uh, building of some kind. Uh, lots of thorns still. The main telling thing though is this art style right here. These angular kind of you know grounds and these these particular style of trees. I know you're not quite the Disney expert. Uh, I'm not. This is Sleeping Beauty's world. 
This is the remains of, it's later later on named the Enchanted Dominion. This is where Sleeping Beauty slash Aurora slash Maleficent is, uh, I say slash, that's bad. That's implying they were all the same person. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty slash Aurora and, Male comma, and Maleficent were from, they were from this place, uh, this world. And this is the remains of, uh, of that location. Anyway, okay. moving on. Some of these are kind of difficult to identify, so I might have, might, might have apologize if we're going a bit slow here. So we got some kind of evil-looking tree thing. Uh, like that, that last one was not pretty a whole easy. Lot here. That last one was pretty easy. I forget what. Um, evil trees still. What's this here? What is that? That oh, is a castle. Indeed. This one is a uh, castle of dreams or Cinderella's world. Okay. I believe. And these, because these, like, because yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's what this one is. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what this one is, because like. We had we had this discussion in another episode where we were talking about like how that mo like the new Cinderella. Again, I was just, I was just recapping like what I'd heard from another review because I haven't seen the movie. But remember, we were talking about how like you know the woods are scary. Like that's the only thing you see between the castle and the yeah. house is these dark black silhouetted woods. So I guess that's what that's supposed to be. Unless it was another one. And, like let's see which one this is. Uh, again, it's kind of difficult to identify a couple of these. That first one's pretty darn easy, but uh, let's try and look and see if I can't figure this one out. Yeah, I can't tell what hardly any of these uh, things are. This looks like wood. I'm like, ah, uh, man, I had a difficult time with this one. Well, I'm fairly confident that last one was Cinderella, which makes this one by, uh, like, you know, what's it called? Process of Elimination. There we go. Process of Elimination. This is, um, the one that, uh, uh, Snow White is from. Maybe. I'm not no, seeing any, like... No, I mean, I mean, I just know. I, I know that's oh, what okay. this represents. I don't remember, like, there's some kind of telltale clue here somewhere. I don't know what it is, but this is supposed to be... The one that Snow White is from, because that one, Enchanted Dominion, and uh, and Castle of Dreams, the, the, those three princesses' worlds were all destroyed. Um, you may recall at the beginning of the game we saw those stations within Sora's heart. Yeah. We saw Sleeping. We saw Snow White first. Then we saw, um, I believe, we saw Sleeping Beauty, uh, Cinderella, and also we later we saw the the fin the boss of that tutorial was um, uh, Bells. Um, and there was another one that had three that were it was blank. Uh, there was there was no detail on any of them. Those three indicated the ones who had already fallen into darkness. That like their worlds had been taken. They were oh. already in Maleficent's possession. There was the final one when their faces were blank because yeah. they weren't gone yet. That was Alice, Kyrie, and Jasmine. And then the last one that shows um uh, that shows Belle also has all of the characters from Beast's Castle, like you know the, all the talking furniture and whatnot. Yeah. And they are also all asleep because the world has been destroyed. Sorry, I kind of had a bit a little bit of saliva in my mouth there. I had to swallow that. We go. All of their, all those guys are asleep because their world has been destroyed. Beast is not asleep though. Yeah. Because he's still. Yeah, he's on the hunt. Going, yeah. So <laughs> he's he's, going he's on the hunt. I found it. I found a really old review, like written like at the time on like some nobody's blog. I mean, I, I say nobody's. Maybe he was a big deal at the time. I don't know, but like, I mean, I had never heard of the guy before. I just stumbled upon it by accident. Some guy's blog that I found, right? Yeah. And um. Uh, it was like an at the time review of Kingdom Hearts, and I remember like part of it that he said like part of why this game is great is because he was like you know it's not some random NPC bringing you on a random fetch quest, it's Beast asking you to save Bell. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, so that was that. Next uh, next area, and I believe I know where this is yet going to deposit us. Hey, no one of these. There he is again. And once again, same amount of health as last time. Yep. I mean, it's not as if there's like some kind of the master plan. It's just that heartless happened to spawn here. But if this was somebody's plan to stop us, it'd be it's pretty pathetic. Bad yeah, plan. bad plan. As we discussed, like back when we were on Neverland, like the real plan that all villains should have would be never send any mooks after the hero. Just send the bosses because exactly. they won't have the chance to level up. Yeah, just send them like your most elite. But then again, never mind. They do that sometimes, but it's like. You know, like a lot of times they send the elite person and then they get, they escape miraculously. Yeah. And then the goons come. No, don't do that. Never send the goons. Never send anyone they have a chance of beating. Okay, already dead. Nice. Very good. Killed him. Hmm. What is this? We have a Heartless logo here. Oh. Go to cutscene. There we go. Yeah. Hold on, it's working on it. It's thinking about it. There it's we go. Trying. Uh oh, we're gonna have to fight some more yep, stuff. Yes, this is a. Uh, this is the, basically, this is the final room of standard enemies of the game. Okay. So it's just it's just waves and waves of, uh, of, of standard enemies, or I mean, like tough standard enemies, like we started out with the behemoth, obviously, and uh, in a second here we're gonna get a bunch of invisibles. Uh, Great. Yeah. So they have to send all send out the hard people to fight. Just, yeah. Know. Last line of defense for the scrubs, I suppose. I suppose. I mean, I don't know. The invisibles and the angels are pretty good. Yeah. The angels are the like the white winged things that we fought a couple times since we got here. Okay. 
The, they kind of look like they have like a clear cylinder on the inside, sort of. Right. Yeah, those are those are angels. I believe that's what they're called anyway. Angelus. The one thing I'm confused by is I sw I could have sworn that Neo Shadows were in this game. Those are enemies that were introduced later. Um, and I like they were in the secret movie of Kingdom Hearts One essentially. And I, th I could have sworn they were added as enemies in Final Mix, and I thought they only appeared on this world, but we haven't encountered any yet. Um, yeah, and unless they appear, in the I, I know you don't, because I mean we haven't seen them yet. I could have sworn that they added those in the final mix, and that we would uh, see some uh, while we were on this world, but we have not Gale? so far. Is that how they're yeah, that's that's. Material? I think you need like like four of those or so, and just like just as one of the uh, ingredients of Ultimate Weapon, Jeez. amongst a bunch of other stuff. And the spawn rate on those is like there's like three enemies in the game that drop gales, and it's like one every 100 times. Great. Yeah. I love grinding for that kind of stuff. I, I don't. Okay, yeah, that was pretty fast. Maybe <laughs> maybe the spawn rate is really different in this game. I also know that you need uh, dark matter or whatever it's called, like the, the you know that's what we get from that's chests sometimes. We have a lot of, yeah. This point. Um, but like it's still says like like ultra rare. That stuff was not in the original game at all. And like I looked online, basically you'd never get that from drops. It's only in a couple chests. So like there's a set amount of it in the game. Okay. Uh, you can you can send that. You can actually craft some. I guess yeah. They must they really boosted the the drop rate on Gale. I guess so. Jeez. Or maybe lucky maybe lucky strike wasn't in the original. So maybe like I've 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 artificially increased the drop count, you know? Who knows? Or maybe you need more Gale to craft the ultimate weapon in this one. I have no clue. All I know is that before I wasted a lot of time in this room grinding for Gale because this is the most efficient place to do it. This is the final is the second to last room of the entire game. <laughs> I, I, we've had this discussion before, but I hate when like secret bosses again appear at the very end of the game, or when you get the ultimate weapon after you've already beaten everything. Oh yeah. It's like great. Now yeah, what, what do I use this with? for? I can't use it on the final it's boss. It's just a so trophy. What's the purpose? Mm -hmm. Or, like, I can, but I've already leveled it. Like, I've already beaten the secret boss, and it was harder than the final yeah, boss. the only so. other time that works is if, like, there is a very, very tough secret boss. Yeah. Like, it's the kind of thing, like, you knew about it from the beginning, and it's like, yeah, sure, there's a little final boss, but this is the final boss to me. Yeah, the, uh, Dream Drop Distance, actually, uh, though, the, though that game has technically separate, like, has, it has one unique secret boss, and then it has all of the normal bosses of the game, but way tougher. Uh, when you beat the normal secret boss, that's when you get Ultimate Weapon. So it's like, great, now what do I do? <laughs> I literally just did what I would use this on. Um, and I don't, I don't think you can even replay the secret boss of that game. You can replay the like the secret versions of the normal bosses, though, because, again, like I said, you basically you go to where you beat all the, the original the bosses originally, and there's a secret thing you can access that lets you refight a much harder version of them, and you can fight those as many times as you like, which is cool. I guess, like, for a final, like, super tough boss kind of thing, like, you need to have a reward that's not just, here's a weapon with really good stats. Have something unique and interesting. Again, in Kingdom Hearts 2, uh, they put a, they give you a crown. Yeah, I just kind of wish it would be, like, a crown that did something, you know? So I guess, I guess they didn't put, maybe I was wrong. All these years I thought they added Neo Shadows in. I guess I'm, I guess I'm the silly one. Unless they spawn somewhere else that I don't know about. Oh, well. Well, I already told you that was the like second to last room of the game. That was the last room with like standard encounters in it. All right, let's go. And on we go through this uh, this portal into this room. What is in this room? Is that like water? Yep. Yeah. Uh, the world terminus. Overwrite that for. I believe this is called last respite or something like that. Final rest. There it is up at the top. Final rest. This is the cool. final rest. And yes, indeed, it is sort of a rest because we got, you know, it's a cool looking room. You could relax in here and chill out. Some running waters. So you have running water sounds. There's a chest right there, which I will open. Want to say it's a mega elixir? Yeah. Nice. And this door. We've seen this door in our dreams, and also uh, in front of the secret place in when uh, Destiny Islands was destroyed. You gonna use the keyboard? Huh? What's wrong? Don't you hear something? There! It's the text! Careful. This is the last haven you'll find here. Beyond, there is no light to protect you. But don't be afraid. Your heart is the mightiest weapon of all. Remember, you are the one who will open the door to the light. So this is just extra confirmation, like, hey, if you don't want to do this, don't go in. I don't hear anything. Strange. The voice was so familiar. Maybe it's just my imagination. Maybe you'd better take a rest. It's like, yeah, you're crazy, Sora. You're hearing things. Okay. So, seven games in, we still don't know what that voice is. Really? <laughs> there are theories. 
Some people think it's just Sora's heart talking to him, because you hear that voice when you're inside the Station of Awakening, the beginning stage, which is basically Sora's heart. Yeah. As we will see, that that, that stage, like all that stained glass stuff, is a continually used as a, a visual representation of being in someone's heart. Um, so, that could be it. There are some other theories as to what that is. Maybe it's something we don't know. Maybe it's plot. Maybe. Maybe it's Nomura talking to his characters. I don't know what it is, but anyway. So, yeah, uh, beyond that is the final, final uh, boss fight. So... As I said before, though, when you get to this room, there is a new secret boss unlocked for Final Mix. So oh, so this is the room. We're going to do one final, final, final secret boss before we do the actual final boss, right? Right. Um, this episode wound up being kind of short, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so listen, I'm going to release that video fighting the secret boss and the finale on the same day, so there won't be wait periods. So if you want to just go straight to the ending, you know, there won't be as, like a technical wait or anything like that. You're not getting... The secret boss is not taking priority over you seeing the ending of the game. So anyway, yeah, next episode will be us fighting the final secret boss of this game, and then after that, excuse me, that was a burp, then we'll be moving on to face off with the final boss, Ansem, or whatever waits beyond that door. Maybe we'll actually kill the secret boss this time. Possibly. My understanding is that he's harder than Sephiroth. <laughs> okay, then. So we'll find out. But yeah, next episode, we'll take on the new Final Mix secret boss that I've never fought before, so this should be interesting. <laughs> Here we go!